Salvete omnes, this is Amelia, also known as the Martian Geek, and welcome back to another episode of Dynamite. In the last episode, we made our way through some pretty tricky levels, but we are not out of the woods yet, because there are still three levels left in stomped mode, starting with this one, level 28, Castle Dynamite. And let me just say that I am really glad we're doing this one first, because, to put it plainly, this level freaking sucks. I hate this one. It is by far the hardest level in the game and definitely the most annoying and stressful. Mainly because of this starting part here. You know how with some of the other Combo. difficult levels in the game, you could make a couple Extreme mistakes. Combo. Like, you could put a few eggs in the wrong place or in your way and you could still generally bounce back from it as long as you were careful. With this one, that is not really true. Here, you pretty much have to know exactly what you're doing. You have to not put any eggs in a bad location, or you might as well just reset because you will probably lose. I have a decent start here, but uh, it's not a guarantee. You want to start, of course, by clearing out these top three groups of rocks. Once you do that, the rest of the level gets a little easier, though not by a whole lot. Okay, that's two down. And of course the egg would stop shaking as soon as I actually hit it. Okay, we got the hardest part of the level out of the way. But that does not by any means mean we have won. <sighs> Do not let your guard down with Castle Dynamite. Trust me. Yeah, you get 20 eggs per stomp in this one. But trust me when I say you're gonna need them. Uh, this, this level, it's this level. It has 11 egg colors too, so that doesn't help. And of course you have these stupid hatching ones here that serve so no purpose except to give you an extra egg color ha to have to keep track of. And you know another little wrinkle in this one? See these rocks here? See how they're attached to the ceiling? Well, if those go below the warning line, it still counts as having something below the warning line, even if it's not technically eggs. So, if you don't clear the level in about three seconds after that, you lose. But we made it! Oh, thank goodness. Please tell me this recording turns out right. Oh, I hate that level. That is... that, uh, that level is so stressful. But next, we're on to round 29, Egg Trap, and you might notice there's only one color in this one. Yeah, that's because this is another one that's a little bit more of a puzzle. I guess I forgot to mention something about the previous level, which is that the first 30 or so eggs seem to be hard-coded. So I guess in that way, that's one of the few levels in the game that's actually more of a puzzle, besides just, just smash everything. And the same goes for this one. You get 10 eggs per stomp here, and you basically just have to have the eggs at the right angle, so that they'll make it through those very close gaps in the rocks. Who smashed the other eggs? Mustache eggs. I can't think of too many levels those even appeared in. Also, keep in mind that certain combinations of angle and how many rows down the puzzle is make it absolutely outright impossible to get eggs in places. Uh oh. Oh, jeez. I was gonna say, if I died on that one, oh, that would suck. But we are now to on to round 30, Ultimate Eggs, the final level in the game. And it's definitely easier than Castle Dynamite, but that doesn't mean you should take it lightly either. You can see lots of bonuses in this one, but also lots of different egg colors. This one actually has 15. I told you none of the levels in the game have all 17 egg colors. Which two are missing in this one? Well, I'll leave that as an exercise to the viewer. This one also has a whole lot of eggs per stomp, 35, which is definitely the most of any level in the game, and I guess I said that the most was 20, but that's not counting this level. Might be a good idea to save that 3 times bonus until, until you can get at least one of the other ones in there too. Like, we have 2 2 times bonuses and 3 4 times, so if you can get it, this is, I would assume this is the only level in the game where you can actually get a 24 times bonus and go ahead, I'll just go ahead and do that I guess. You can actually get a 24 times bonus without being, getting lucky with the 
hatching eggs. And I mean, seriously, really lucky. Jeez, uh, my heart my heart rate is still elevated from Castle Dynamite. If I screw up on this one and lose, that would really be not good. Okay, so that's the Starry Night ones out of there, I guess. Yeah, this one's not too hard. It's one of those levels that kind of just feels like a celebration for having gotten this far in the game. But, yeah, it can still mess you up if you let it. So let's try not to do that. Oh, yeah, I think I have to leave that. Okay, that's out of there. Yeah, once you start getting to the point where you can clear out these groups of five eggs here, it, you're probably in a pretty good position at that point. Uh, wow, I, can, I just can't... I can't, I can't, I can't words today. And Castle Dynamite just kind of stressed out my speech centers, I guess. As well as my brain. The rest of my brain or something. I don't know. But... <laughs> ultimate eggs... Also, I guess the arrangement of eggs is pretty terribly creative. It's one of those where it's pretty much just a big cluster. It's kind of like scrambled eggs and um, mega jumble. It's like, the, the second, it's like the second sequel to scrambled eggs, I guess, in a way. But I don't think this one's quite as symmetric. Uh, let's see. Okay, yeah. Almost done here. Few more. I wonder how much harder this level would be if you only got 20 eggs for stomp instead of um, 35. But just because we have all these multipliers, I'm gonna get a bunch of eggs here. Yes, give me more points. For absolutely no reason, because I'm playing on easy mode and that's not very good for getting score anyway. Okay, there we go. Now we can quit. And cleared! We have beaten... Well, we, not ex we didn't exactly beat Stomp Challenge, but we basically beat it. What happens after you're past round 30? You go to round 31, which is actually exactly the same as level 1. Basically, it just repeats. You can keep going and keep going, and you'll never actually reach like an end screen or anything. You'll just be repeating the same levels over and over again. Well, I think the eggs per stomp counter actually decrements by 1 on each successive round. But don't quote me on that. I guess we might as well test it on this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I actually don't remember how many eggs the original level took, but I don't think it was only eight, so... I guess it's possible it changes by a percentage. And of course, then we end up at round 32, or also known as round 2. Zigzag. But we're about done here, so let's just go ahead and die and lose and all that. And crush. And go to the high score menu. Um see if it if the high score menu actually works this time. But I'm apparently a thunder lizard. And that was easy mode stomped puzzle. What about normal and hard? Actually, I'll get back to that in a bit. Okay, we are back. I guess I just needed a bit of time to take a break and catch my breath. If you're thinking, is Castle Dynamite really that bad? Yes, yes it is that bad. I'm sorry, but... Yeah, anyway. So, we played through all of Stomp Puzzle on Easy Mode, and there's a reason we did the whole thing like that. Which we're about to find out. If that was easy, what do you think normal and hard are like? Well, let's find out. Round 1 of normal mode, pretty easy. Hmm, this level looks familiar, doesn't it? Yes, this was actually level 10 in easy mode. The way the difficulty modes work in Stomp Train is... They actually just start you later in the set of levels. So, on normal mode, we start on what's basically level 10, except in normal it's considered level 1. You no might notice a couple other differences. You get a thousand points instead of only 500 for clearing around. 
And we're also getting 30 points for smashing groups of three eggs instead of just 10. So yeah, you at least get more points in normal. I don't know if the actual distribution of which eggs you get is any different on the other difficulty settings. It almost seems like it is, but I'm not quite sure. I'd have to test that, I guess. To see if it's just luck, or if there's something else in Or some other factor there. Anyway, round two down, and you can guess what's coming next. Round three, get to the point. More commonly known as round 12. And no, I won't be playing through this entire thing on normal again. Because, after all, it is just the same levels. Like, literally the exact same. If there's a difference between these, played on normal or hard, and played on easy, I'm certainly not aware of it. But we'll go ahead and clear out this one. Just a few more. You know, I'm not entirely sure why I had so much trouble with this as a kid. Maybe I just couldn't tell the gold eggs from the orange eggs very well? But anyway... On to round 4, Lattice, but I think we, we can probably... That's, we get the point. I mean, normal mode is easy mode, except you start on the later level. And if you're wondering what happens after you beat the final level, which would not, of course, be level 30 in this one, because we skipped the first 9, it actually takes you back to pretty easy, instead of all the way back to what would be level 1 and easy. So you only get, you only replay the levels that you actually start on in that difficulty mode. So, what about hard mode? We start on round 1, not so easy. Which, of course, was level 19 in easy mode. Yeah, hard mode in Stomped is... Well, it's hard mode. I mean... What can I say? Though if you think about it, this means that Castle Dynamite in hard mode would only be level 10, which is kind of a scary thought. And of course, groups of three eggs are now giving us 60 points. And if we just beat the level here... There we go. Now our round cleared bonus is 2,000 points. So, of course, if you're going for high score, go with hard mode, because you'll get more points for everything. Round 2, of course, is spider web. This would be level 20 and easy. Um... Hmm. Okay. That works. I'm yeah, just redoing these levels here, and... Of course it gives me a gold egg when I was about to get rid of the gold eggs. It's like... Murphy's Law of Dynamite or something. Well, technically that would be Finagle's Law. Or Finagle, how do you pronounce that? Again, we'll just get through here. And hey, hard mode with the 4 times bonus. That doesn't suck. I'm just clear out a few of these, and sure, there, there we go. Now, see the difference with hard mode as far as points go? We've only cleared two levels where we're, we've already broken 15,000 points. And since round three, of course, Mega Jumble, which naturally would be round 21, and easy. Since this is kind of a time consuming one, I'm gonna go ahead and call it here. So, yeah, you. The last level in hard mode would be round 12, which would be Ultimate Eggs, of course. And after you finish that, round 13 would just take you back to not so easy. So. Depending on whether or not you're going for score, if you're not going for score, there's really no point in playing stomped mode on anything but easy, because that's the only way you actually get to play all of the levels. If you're going for score, go ahead and do hard and just keep going those same 12 grueling levels over and over again if you must. But, yeah, I kind of wish they'd done the difficulty a little differently with this one. Like, just it had completely different levels or something like that. Because as it stands, like, if you play hard mode in this, you're missing out on 40% of the levels. But anyway, we are done with Stomped Puzzle now. So, now that we've taken care of Endless, Time Trial, and Stomp, there is only one game mode left in Dynamite, and we will get to that in the next episode. So, I will see you then.